And millions of commuters in London face travel chaos during a 48-hour tube strike by London underground staff over planned job cuts and the closure of ticket offices took place. Here's V. Season for the report. As London is brought to a standstill by a strike on the London Underground, some are arguing for a change in UK law to make mass transport services an emergency service. Millions of commuters in London face travel chaos during a 48-hour tube strike by London Underground staff over planned job cuts and the closure of ticket offices. In a huge money for that, you just close and shut down. It was a grim day for London's commuters. Much of the capital's underground network was closed due to strike action and alternative methods of transport were buckling under the strain. There was a lot of um, congestion on my train. Um, it was just really busy. Like When I got on, um, the people at the next stop couldn't get on and it was just people just couldn't get on and people were just waiting for the next train. So yeah, it's been a bit of a mess, so <laughs> needed to finish. London Underground is the world's oldest and largest underground tube network. Three million passengers rely on it every day. British Prime Minister David Cameron branded the tube strikes as shameful. Business leaders estimated it would cost the capital around £200 million. London's Mayor Boris Johnson wants a change in the law. Some cities regard their transport operators as essential services. He objects to the fact that only 30% of the union's members actually voted. Uh, the thing should be called off immediately. Uh, we've, uh, we've already got uh, a solution in hand in the sense that uh, it, there are loads of people who are actually applying for, for voluntary redundancy. There are no compulsory redundancy, so let's knock this thing on the head and let everybody get to work more smoothly. London's Tube is the world's oldest and largest underground network. It carries over 3 million passengers a day. Many people were unable to get into work despite extra buses being put into service, while others resorted to jogging and cycling to avoid the gridlocked roads. Reporting from London, this is V. Manuel Season for Eagle News.